Hey guys, I promised that I would redo the Connect the Dots video. I did post that video on my Telegram and I'm not sure what's going on with my Telegram, but I'm not able to search it. So I haven't been able to find it. Um, I don't know if it's there or not. So unfortunately, I can't just send you guys over there to watch that one. So I'm going to redo it. Okay. And I'm going to try to remember to not say a couple of things that I think are what got me flagged. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best, but I'm going to warn you. This information always gets me censored, booted, banned. Um, when I just speak raw, honest, throw facts around, um, people don't like it. Okay, now I'm not saying people like you and me, I'm saying Zombie people, okay, people that are part of the, the conditioning and the programming, and those that are promoting the conditioning and pro uh, programming, those that are actually pushing it, okay, pushing the agenda. So this is just a basic summary, okay? This is by no means everything, okay? Because if I did everything that I'm aware of, it would take forever, Okay, it would take forever. This is just the highlights so that you guys can be like, oh, yeah, wow. And again, information in and of itself is not awakening. So this information is an awakening. Knowing the truth about all the horrible shit going down on this planet isn't what awakening is about. Okay, that's the deception. That's the agenda. That's the matrix. That's the program. That's just spinning your wheels. Okay, there's no savior. There's no savior, whether it be political, religious, or otherwise, okay? We are saving ourselves. We are saving ourselves by remembering who we are, why we came, and what we are truly connected to, which is our source, our source that we are directly connected to. It links right into our biology, right into every aspect of our being, okay? The part of us that is here on this planet I've always said the avatar, the part of us that is the avatar, and then there's the, the consciousness of us, the energy of us, the spirit of us, our soul light, whatever you want to call it, okay? That's the part that is infinite. We are just happening to, we happen to be embodied, okay, into this avatar where we are having this earthly experience in this reality, okay? But it is not who we truly are, all right? So remembering who we truly are, and that those of us that are remembering, we know why we came here. We came here to see the dissolution of this program, okay? We are here to put out a new frequency, a new signal onto this planet along with the sun doing its thing, which is why they're trying to block it out, the earth doing its thing, which is why they're trying to poison it and destroy it and all of those things, okay? Our human DNA is upgrading. I've talked about this many times. It was published in the New Scientist magazine back in 2020, I believe, right during you know what, okay? So again, this is all known, okay? This is all known. Now, somebody did ask me, well, how do you know that our human DNA, which is upgrading, is organic? And it's really fucking simple, okay? If you were trying to control a race, would you want them to have upgraded DNA? We're going from two to four strands, okay? No. The only reason we've been able to be slaved, enslaved, okay, is because they've messed with our DNA and they've actually short-circuited our genetic programs, our own genetic programs. Remember, uh, our DNA is information. Okay, they're like little antennas. It's what connects us either to our source, which is the universal cosmic forces that we're part of, okay, that we are intimately part of, or we can be hooked into this other source, which is the matrix program. Follow me? So you're not going to want somebody to have expanded organic human DNA. You would want them to have less, and then you would want to edit out human DNA, like with CRISPR technology, okay, and certain you-know-whats, okay, 
and other other ways too. Don't get me wrong, but this is this is one of the major major ways. And then putting you know what into you know what, okay, linking you up to computers, machine technology, artificial intelligence, and those types of things. Okay, so human DNA has been going through a natural upgrade organic upgrade okay you could call it ascension you could call it the rapture i don't care what you call it like names are meaningless let's just be clear books are meaningless too by the way words that other people say are meaningless by the way especially if they're invisible beings that we can't see okay i won't get on my rant about that today okay Hopefully those of you that are here already know this stuff, which is why you're here. Okay, so human DNA is upgrading. They don't want that to happen, which is why they're interfering so, so desperately. Okay, and I mean, really, you need to let that sink in. Okay, we are light beings and we are being rebooted. We legit are being rebooted. We're being realigned with the source, okay, of our being and the source of the planet and the source of the sun, not the program that has overtaken, overtaken it. Okay. It's basic like Raiders. They're Raiders. Okay. Raiders. Okay. The forces that have actually raided and hijacked everything. Okay. So the human DNA thing is probably the key to our real understanding of what is going on here. And it makes it really easy to see why everything has been happening the way that it has been happening and what they have been trying to do. Just, just makes everything crystal clear. Okay. So ascension, people talk about it all being about consciousness and dimensions. It is biological to people. Okay, we are going through a biological upgrade, which means our bodies are changing physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Okay, and then of course you have etherically and, you know, but I'm just, just laying it out in a relatively simplistic way. Okay, so now that we have that human DNA thing as our foundation to build the connect the dot story, and again, I'm going to minimize it so that this video isn't four hours long. All right. This has been going on in this planet for thousands of years. Technology is not new. None of this is new. Okay. It's just coming to the surface and it's being revealed to us so that we can see it. It's just been hidden. Okay. It's just been hitting. They've been manipulating humans for a very, very long time and manipulating other things on this planet as well. Okay. So the program has been in place for a very long time. And if it's a system, you can be sure that it's part of the program because in the organic world, there are no systems. The only system that exists is nature's system. Okay, mother nature, nature's order, the natural world, however you wanna look at it, okay? Everything else is made up. Everything else is made up, okay? Then, of course, you have humans where we do have the ability to think and reason and form ideas, opinions, beliefs, all of those things. That just makes things extremely complicated, okay? Extremely complicated. And when we are connected to our source and then our instincts and intuition start to guide us more than anything else, that's when we start living in a more synchronistic way, Okay, that's the word I was looking for. Synchronistic, synchronicity. Okay, so this has been going on for thousands of years, but I am going to start in the 50s. I could start in the 40s, but I'm just going to start in the 50s because like I said, I have to kind of like draw the line at some point so that I'm not here forever. All right. In the 50s, you see the birth. Well, it's not really the birth, but it was like it came to our knowledge about Silicon Valley. Okay, for those of you who don't know what Silicon Valley is, what Silicon Valley does, all about CRISPR technology, cloning, merging, 
humans with the machine, okay? It's all that digital synthetic reality merging humans with technology. That is what Silicon Valley is, was, that is their, that's their thing, okay? All the experimentation, all of the research, and all of that. Okay, that started in the 50s. Didn't start, like I said, but it became, it became above ground. Let's just say that, above ground above ground. Okay? Because there's a lot of stuff underground too. You guys know that, right? I don't need to educate you on that. There's whole underground stuff going on. All right? So this is above ground. All part of the military complex, which is government. Government is a branch of the military complex, which are the controllers of the planet at this time and have been for a very, very long time. Okay? But they're losing control. Okay, they're losing control, which is why they're so desperate. So don't, don't like get too uh, about this, okay? Keep in mind things are changing. Things are changing, all right? The frequencies of the planet are changing. And it's no longer supportive of that, okay? But they're, they're fighting. They're fighting like hell right now, okay? So they're, they're desperate. They're desperate, desperate, desperate. And desperate entities do desperate things, okay? So just keep that in mind. And then NASA, okay, NASA came above ground in the 50s as well, okay, a little bit after that, okay. Now, NASA likes us to believe that they're all about space exploration, and that is a big fat lie, okay. NASA is all about genetic research, okay, so don't be fooled. Um, if you Google it, it's going to tell you that NASA has like a tiny little research laboratory for genetics. No, 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 it's what they do. It's what they do, okay? And these crazy people started the Genome Project back in the 90s where they were hunting DNA to see how many humans actually had this expanded DNA, okay? So they were looking for people that have this four-stranded DNA or in the process of unfolding, okay? Because you see everything ram up exponentially in the 90s, okay? Now, the 80s was when they really, really started to get a foothold though, okay? So it was the 80s that they started with computers and sunscreen, sunscreen, wear sunscreen, wear sunscreen, it's poison, okay? Chemical sunscreens are poison. They were then and they are now, okay? It is all about poisoning people. Back in the 80s is when you started to see a major mass push with pesticides and chemicals and all sorts of disgusting man-made poisons that were being pumped out into the environment, okay? They had already been spraying us with massive amounts of pesticides and all of that long before the 80s, okay? But the 80s came and poisons from, you know, oh, spray your gardens with this and do this with that and spray your kids with bug spray and sunscreen and it just started to become massive, okay? A massive, massive push. So you can see you've got the computers and you've got all of the chemicals. And now you have this introduction of this technology, which again is not new, it's just now coming up to the surface. So that everybody is moving into this technology world, okay? And then back in the 70s, I think it was the 70s when they started to introduce the credit cards. Now in the 80s, credit cards became the new thing where everybody was getting into the debt system even deeper, okay? So the whole credit card thing. So these are major. These are major, okay? And in the 80s, the World Economic Forum was set up above surface, okay? Where you could actually like know about it. Okay, and the World Economic Forum has been posting this agenda since the friggin 80s and how many people were paying attention. Now, I've mentioned in many, many videos that I've done that I happen to be someone who was born knowing, knowing this. Does that mean I knew everything in my mind? Absolutely not. But my spirit knew it. My spirit knew that there was a very dark, dark, terrible agenda on the planet I, I didn't know why I came to this place, to be honest. That was what I felt lost and I felt completely like, what the, you know, um, for a very, very long time. And then I would get these downloads of information that I don't want to say download, but it was like this information that would just like come into me and it would give me another piece of the puzzle. And it was like, so this just built over the years. So by the time the 80s came around, I was really onto the program. I was like, 
Ugh. Like I could see it. I could see it just all unfolding. And then the 90s come and things are just getting worse and worse and worse. Okay. And again, you've got all of these organizations, especially Big Pharma with their you know what. Okay. That was just all priming. This program was priming for the next program connecting you to the cyborg revolution, the cyborg reality, okay? Merging human with machine. And in order to do that, they have to alter our DNA through this CRISPR technology, okay? And for those who are unfamiliar with what CRISPR technology is, it is actually editing out, which means cutting out, removing our human DNA and replacing it with synthetic DNA. Artificial, fake, 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 fake people, okay? And then you're going to be hooked up to this digital reality through technology and the artificial intelligence world. So my question to people is always, if you fall for this, and it's also digital IDs, let's, let's really like have a moment because they're pushing digital IDs very hard now. Okay, so digital ID is, is, is you're done. You're done. You're part of that. You're, you're part of the cyborg revolution if you go down that path. Okay. So the digital ID is a way that they're going to start hooking people up legit. Okay. And you have to remember if it was just that simple, if they could just do it through GMOs and do it through, you know, chemtrails and all that, they would have done it already. Okay. It's, it's a little more complex than that. That is why they're so desperate to get us to, to do these things. Okay. And more people are waking up. And I really, really hope that this next wave of insanity just wakes up a ton more people. And when I say wake up, you know, not just wake up to the agenda, but wake up to the truth of their being, because that's really the only thing that matters. So I'm really, really hoping that that, that starts to get, get moving. Okay. So You've got all of these things that are just connect the dots, connect the dots, connect the dots. And then again, I could get into the wars and I could get into all of the political garbage. I could get into all of that. But like I said, this is going to take four hours if I do. Okay. JFK wasn't a good guy, people. And all it takes is a tiny, 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 tiny bit of critical thinking and the ability to do just a tiny bit of research. And you will see very clearly Okay, these are mob families. These are people that have been part of the agenda and part of the mob. Everything you see on the political stage is a show. It's a show, a very disturbing show. Okay, I don't want to say it's not real, it has very real consequences and really real effects, but nothing you see is real. These people don't give a shit about you, they don't give a shit about me, they don't give a shit about your children. Okay, we are being sprayed with poison every single day. Okay, like wake up people. Okay, this is the problem. People have such a savior complex. They really believe that somebody is going to save us. No, nobody is coming to save us. Okay, nobody. We are saving ourselves. We are saving ourselves. Okay. So you have to get better at connecting the dots, okay? People have infiltrated or outright created all of these truth movement groups, okay? And they're leading people down the same path ultimately because you've all noticed, right? RFK Jr. is now endorsing Trump. You see it, right? Right? He criticized Trump for all his whatever, but now that, that he knows, well, he knows that's kind of like ridiculous because it's all a game and it's all a show. But now that his role has been fulfilled, right? He's, he's trying to pass it, pass it off to Trump, right? Like Trump is, is, is going to save us from Kamala, Kamala, whatever the heck her name is, right? It honestly, at this point, I feel like people that are still stuck in that, I don't know. I just wonder if they even have a chance at all. I really, I really hope that they do. And I really hope that they'll snap the fuck out of it. Um, and I've already talked about how I was willing to give the Q Trump thing just a tiny bit of grace because of the truth that was coming out. And I was really hoping that it would, that it would morph and shift and change into uh, something valuable. And it never did. It never did. 
And the beauty of me doing that though, I actually met someone who's now one of my best friends, like a soul sister, and she has really, really woken up. She's really waking up to who she really is and she's really waking up to her inner truth and she's really starting to feel those inner instructions of her upgraded DNA starting to take her over. So I totally get why something in me was like, no, just give it a chance, just give it a chance, just give it a chance. Even though I knew the whole political thing was a shit show, I also knew that there was something powerful happening on this planet. And so I thought, well, maybe this is just the way it's going to go down. Like, what do I know? Like, I don't know the details. And maybe, maybe this is going to be the fire that starts to light people up and starts to get them to like really move out of that, that, that slave sleepy mentality. But then I started to see it very, very clearly. And then, you know, listening to Trump talk about people who question the Holocaust narrative that you're a criminal. Um, he has said horrible things, people. Horrible. Not to mention, if you look at the um, the executive orders he signed, you know, more vaccines, digital ID, allowing 5G, 6G. Now we're, we're up to 10G, people. We're going to 10G, okay? He's part of all of this. He's part of all of this, okay? So the whole Q thing was just a distraction to keep people that had the potential to really wake up to keep them stuck in the rat maze okay so don't be fooled by any of this and I'm sure none of you are because I don't think any of you would listen to me if you were okay so again and now you've got big pharma agenda which I could actually go back and start to connect the dots okay and again it would just take too long but I think I've given you enough to be able to actually be like, oh yeah, you can you can see them connecting the dots. And don't forget about like Ancestry.com and all of the genome testing where they wanted to test everybody's genetics. So it's like, oh, find out where your ancestors come from. That was just another way to hunt down DNA, okay? And to see who actually has this expanded DNA. Because they knew that if, if it was a lot of people, they were gonna have to really... Uh, ramp up their game. Okay. And they did, they really ramped up their game. Okay. So again, the agenda has been in motion a very, very long time and we are just in the final throwdown. Okay. We are, we are like at the edge of our seat in the final throwdown. Like this is it. This is the last round. And I'm not saying that there's not going to be multiple rounds within the last round, but we are in the last phase. It's like the last leg of the relay. Okay. And yeah, it feels like it's moving in really close to me. Like it, it feels like within the next couple of years, things are going to get really, really, really crazy and intense. But again, I, I, I don't really know the details. I can see things as they're unfolding. But there's so much garbage out there too, distraction and to keep us, you know, caught in the, you know, whatever that sometimes it's hard for us to just really be still and just like feel with our being like, okay, you know, because it's, it's that that gives us the information that we really need. Okay. So I might do a part two of this, all right? But for now, I think that this just gives you a good little uh, snippet of what's happening. Now there's a website called Twisted Labs or Twisted Research or Twisted Biolabs or something like that. Um, twisted, <laughs> I should know this. I've talked about it before. Um, twisted Labs, Twisted Bio Labs. Now, prior to the nonsense that went on a little while ago, okay, you could go to their website and they were talking about all about CRISPR technology. They were talking all about synthetic DNA, all about editing human DNA, that it was the revolution, that it was the future, merging us with the machine. It was all there, okay? And I remember like thinking, oh my God, like they actually are like putting this out there. Like they are friggin' putting it out there. And, but hardly anybody knew about it. And I'm like telling people about it and they're and I'm like, no, go to the website, go to the website. But I've been to the website recently and they've actually updated their website and they've changed a lot of their wording. Okay, so now it's very vague. It's very general. Um, the average person is going to have a clue what they're reading. Just like the average person doesn't have a fucking clue what RNA does, like what it does in the body. So they were so willing to, to do you know what because they have no clue because they probably slept through science class. This is what I'm saying. School is a joke. School is an absolute joke. School has done nothing for us as humanity. For humanity. Nothing. It's actually harmed us in ways that are, that are 
permanent for some. Some have been permanently damaged by the program and they're just not going to make it out of this reality. Um, they're not going to make it into the new uh, beautiful reality, the, the, the positive reality that is, is waiting for us to, to align with it. Okay. Through these upgrades that are happening. There's some people there just too far gone. Okay. And it is my belief and it is my uh, true, true desire. But I do believe this is that, um, that will be dissolved as well. They'll be dissolved and reabsorbed back into source because you can only go so far away from source before you get reeled back in. At least that's what I believe. That's what is feel. That's what feels, that's what feels really right to me. And I remember saying stuff like this in catechism and it, it didn't go so well because I, you know, it was like, yeah, burning for eternity in hell. Like, that's just stupid. And I used to tell them the Jesus story was dumb and that people that believed that that God, that God's a narcissistic bastard. Like, seriously, like I saw through this stuff at like seven years old, eight years old, actually even earlier than that. But yeah, and they'd call my mother and tell my mother that they had to get me to stop saying that stuff or they were going to kick me out. Yeah. So my mother just was like, could you keep your mouth shut? My mother still made me go. Can you believe it? She still made me go to catechism because my mother was raised Catholic and it was so important to my mother. So she made me go and I could have probably fought it and been that problem child, but I didn't want to be a problem child. I was a wild child, but I wasn't like a problem. Like to this day, my mother's like, you guys were such good kids. Like, and I was relatively a good kid, but I spoke my peace and I spoke my truth. I didn't go along with the program. And it was difficult, though. It was difficult because uh, nobody around me at the time was awake, not even remotely. And I, as I got older, I realized that if I kept, kept shooting my mouth off, I'd probably end up in a mental institution and medicated. And I didn't want that. So I just learned to kind of like suck it up and just like pretend. And then, then I get to the point where I stopped pretending and then I actually kind of kept it a little bit under the radar a little bit um, while my children were growing up because, you know, I didn't want to get my kids taken away. But now that my kids are old enough and you can't take them away, they're, they're adults, right? My kids are adults now. Um, and now my filter is completely gone. It's ripped open. It's busted. It's completely gone um, because I just don't care anymore. I just don't care. The stakes are way too high. And I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking the truth and I'm not saying that everybody has to think that everything I say is the truth, but when I lay a fact out, that fact is the truth. Okay. So when I talk about Silicon Valley or NASA or these things are truth and you can find them for yourself because it's out there. The information is out there. This isn't anything new. This isn't anything new. Okay. And it's all distraction. Okay. It's all distraction. Human nature is not bad. That is part of the program. It's part of the program. Okay, this is about us returning to our inner light. It's about us remembering who we are. Okay, and we are literally altering the frequency of this planet, which is why they are so desperate. They are so desperate right now. And as more and more people wake up to this truth, the more intense this process becomes. Okay, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'm signing out for now.